Let the bottom edge of a rectangular mirror on a vertical wall be parallel to and h feet above the level floor. If a person with eyes t feet above the floor is standing erect at a distance d feet from the mirror, what is the relationship among h, d, and t if the person can just see his own feet in the mirror? And we're given uh, all these options, all these relations between between these things. Um, okay, I think sketching a picture here is going to be what we want to do. Yeah, um, we're going to sketch a pe sketch a picture, and one of the key pieces of information we're going to want here is that you know the light that connects the reflection of the person's feet to their eyes travels in a straight line. The distance, the horizontal distance between um, an object and the image of its reflection is twice the distance from the object to the mirror. Um, yeah, but once I think once I draw a diagram, this should be fairly simple. Okay. So what information do I have exactly here? So the eyes are t, a distance of t above the floor. We're at a distance d away from the wall on which the mirror is sitting. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll draw where the image of the feet would be. I'll connect these with a straight line and I mean okay it's pretty close to the same distance on each side. Um, now if you just sort of think about what you would see in the mirror, um, if this person moves closer to the wall, then this point will also move closer to the wall. And, uh, you know, I'll assume that the mirror kind of extends. I, I'm going to draw this not exactly the way the question intends, but assume that the mirror looks like this. So this is the distance h there. Okay. If the person moves closer, then they'll, they'll be able to see their feet because, you know, that point moves this way. This point moves that way. Um, do I have this right? Maybe another way to think about this is if I move the mirror up and down. Like clearly, if I move this mirror, if I just shift this thing up, if the bottom edge of the mirror is there, you won't be able to see your feet. Um, but then doesn't, if you move closer, if you move closer, won't this point always be where the line of sight passes through the wall? I mean, okay, so let me, let me, um, draw this here. So this is H. Um, So we have t is equal to 2h. Is that one of the options? By similar triangles, t is equal to 2h. And d does not matter. And this is one of the options that we're given. Right? As you move closer to the wall or farther away from the wall, this point that point doesn't move, does it? Yeah. Uh, for I don't know why, but for some reason, when I first started reading this question, I thought there would be like a minimum distance from the wall or a maximum distance from the wall that you had to be in order to be able to see your feet. But in this idealized version of the problem, you should always theoretically, be able to see your, if you can see your feet 
for some position of the mirror, you'll always be able to see your feet. I kind of want to get up and test this. I'll do this later. I'm going to uh, go into another room later and... See if, uh, I guess if, like if the height of the mirror, if the lower edge of the mirror is more than halfway up the floor towards your eyes, you'll never be able to see your feet, right? Yeah, I'm going to do some science later today and make sure that this is correct. But anyway, uh, pretty confident in this at the moment. Um, I'll update you with the results of my science experiment later. I'll put it down in the description. Thanks for watching.